Hello and welcome back to The Lion's Den, the only podcast that has this introduction, I would assume. I'm your host Matt as always and today we're going to talk about a few things that happened in the week and then something that's been on the mind recently. So let's start out with clothes shopping because that's been an interesting point. I decided to venture out to the wonderful place of Tesco and go to their clothing section because one of the slightly bigger stores in my area had a sale going on. Well, I suppose actually all of them had a sale going on, but the bigger the store, the better selection of clothing they have. And this has been the first time that I've actually had options. I went there and there was tons of different things for men's clothing. There was actually a decent section for men. And I personally needed some shorts because all of my shorts are from when I was a wee teenager and they do not fit anymore and really need to have been replaced ages ago. To be fair, when it comes to summer, I kind of do a bit of a hybrid. I sometimes wear trousers and then I sometimes wear shorts so I can kind of balance out which ones I'm using because I do have more new shorts that are meant for adults. That's by the way. I needed some shorts, need some replacement shorts, and maybe just some different colours because that would be nice, and they had this huge selection of different shorts, obviously in a myriad of sizes because it's a sale, so it's whatever sizes they've got available, and I picked up a stone pair, a light blue pair, and a dark navy pair because they all looked really nice, and they were all the same style of chino, so I bought them all in the same size, I was like, cool, all good. Uh, mistake (laughs) I did the same thing I did a while back where I bought the wrong sizing for trousers because for some reason my body in terms of men's uh, trouser sizing in the UK system anyway I need a 30 inch waist and a 32 leg but for some reason my brain just swaps those numbers around all the time so ages ago I bought this pair of really nice beige trousers in a 32 waist 30 leg so they were way too wide on my waist and then way too short on my leg and I was really upset about that I've done the same thing again here with my shorts I bought all of them in a 32 waist which isn't necessarily a huge problem because they're shorts right so the length isn't an issue it's just the waist and they're too big which you could technically fit with a belt but belts are annoying I don't know if it's just a me thing but I always have problems with belts like it's an extra step when you want to go to the toilet when you sit down they like bunch up and stab you in your stomach sometimes depending on the style of belt as well it can like pinch your skin if your shirt rises up when you sit down it's not fun I, I, it's just yeah so <laughs> I'm annoyed because I bought all three of them all three pairs in a 32 and didn't even realize it So I'm going to have to go back and try and replace them, either getting a different size, assuming the sale is still has different sizes, or just seeing if they'll take a refund. I've done the right thing this time, which is to not take the labels off, because I did that with the aforementioned beige trousers, and then had to be really apologetic, like, I'm really sorry, I have the receipt, but I took all the stuff off of it. And they were like, "Mm, okay, we'll let you off. And they did take them back, thankfully. So that's annoying. I also bought a really nice shirt. A really nice little blue textured shirt that's um I think will work nicely to go over like a white t-shirt and some stuff so that's cool and I also tried <laughs> I tried a pink shirt and I tried a sort of Hawaiian-y palm leaf style red white shirt so it was like red shirt with a white leaves or palm leaves or something all over it not to toot my own horn I think I could pull them off <laughs> I think I would look good in them but I also didn't like the style particularly very much, so I put them back down because, no thank you, I'm good. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I was just surprised that there was actually clothing I could buy. I was a bit annoyed because I wanted to get some shoes as well. I really want some white or tan shoes. Like, I had this outfit that I wore the other week. I'm just going off into fashion now. One of my friends at work decided to invite me out because he was leaving and he's going on like a whole... Uh, trip thing around Europe sounds cool and he was like let's go out we'll have pizza and a drink and chat and it'll be great and it was I really enjoyed it but I was trying to just figure out a nice style to wear because I had absolutely no idea how to fashionably dress up to go out if that makes sense I spent the day googling how to do a shirt tuck because I've never done that before but I knew it was a thing and I thought it looked nice and smart but casual at the same time so that was a mare. I wanted to originally do a white t-shirt with a black long sleeve shirt over top, black smooth trousers, 
and then I needed white shoes. That would have just popped the look so nice to have this sort of two-tone contrasty look. And I'd nailed the shirt hook thing really well. I'd managed to figure out how that functioned correctly and made it look not stupid. But I didn't have the white shoes. So instead I just paired it with some beige shorts, I think is what I did. I did beige shorts, a white top, and a black overshirt. And then my just standard blue trainers. Looks really nice. I was really happy with how it looked. So there was that. Um, but yeah, I, I got annoyed yesterday because in this whole store, there was no shoes anywhere. No shoes for men, no shoes for women, no shoes for the kids section. It was weird. So I just couldn't even look to see if there were white or tan shoes. I don't need anything complicated. I just need something that's hopefully waterproof because that's another thing. I don't have waterproof shoes. And then, I, like I say, either white or tan because they're a little bit more versatile in terms of uh, color contrast when it comes to certain outfits because I just wear my blue trainers with everything and it doesn't necessarily work with certain outfits <laughs> I will say that it's it's interesting because I've never really cared much about my style throughout most of my life especially when I was younger I really didn't care I just wore what was comfortable I, I don't even think I put any thought into pairings in terms of like colors or styles or anything it would generally just be jeans slash trousers and a top a t-shirt of some kind whatever people had bought me you know um rather than something that i'd particularly gone out and purchased for myself mainly because i didn't care i hated clothes shopping as well i still hate clothes shopping because it just sucks for men i think i've talked about this previously but the men's selection is awful it's a bit like i saw this infographic about cars you know in the in the like 60s 70s the colors of cars were way more varied you had reds yellows greens blues blacks whites whereas now we've shifted towards this almost monotone palette of it's just silver white black maybe a red the occasional blue you hardly see any sort of actual colors these days which is just kind of sucks and it's the same with men's clothing it's all just blue generally blues and blacks and whites maybe the beige beige though is scarily difficult to find as i've told, said before trying to find beige trousers has been a nightmare so when i did find them i grabbed them and ran for my life but yeah it's only recently have i decided you know what i actually want to care about how i look because to me as annoying as it is you feel different or at least i feel different when i wear something that i think looks good and that's the key as i've educated myself on one of the biggest things when it comes to fashion is confidence just being comfortable and wearing it as if it's good you know if you wear it and you're kind of like shifting around and you don't feel comfortable in it or you don't feel assured in yourself then it will reflect in the fact that the style possibly doesn't function quite how you want it to but you know if you just walk around like yeah i'm comfortable i look cool or i look smart it will probably come across that way. Like, for example, I really enjoyed wearing suits. I really like that special occasion because it makes me feel smart, makes me feel distinguished. Like I said about my outfit when I went out with my friends, I felt kind of cool, a bit younger, it made me a bit more hip because it was put together. So, yeah, I, I do want to kind of push forward with this. Not to the extent where I'm I have this, like, really put-together wardrobe. I still want that element of I can just pick out something put it on and not really care about it because to be honest most of the time I'm either at home or I'm going between places or maybe I'm even wearing a functional outfit for example my gym outfit I don't care what that looks like it just needs to be a sports top and some shorts maybe it has pockets because I need to put my phone somewhere <laughs> but only when I go out or I'm going to something specific that I want it to look a certain way like I said going out or going to a function that requires smart dress. Maybe that's when I then want it to look nice. I do definitely need to throw out stuff. I have way too many things now. I have shirts that I don't wear. I have trousers that have got holes in them that can just go. Like I said, I've got those shorts that are basically designed for teenagers because they're that old. So I just need to throw out stuff. And there's this whole concept about building a wardrobe that you can just do stuff with you know you have everything in your wardrobe works with everything else so you can just pull stuff out 
and make an outfit without really thinking because oftentimes in the past when I've decided to actually dress up in a specific way I will have to spend forever pulling different things out matching them up maybe try them on does this fit is this comfortable and it's just a whole nightmare and then the whole aforementioned accessory issue of what shoes do I wear with them because I don't really have any shoes and do I put a jacket on because I want pockets and what ah. yeah I'm now discovering how annoying fashion is, but how satisfying it is when you pull it off correctly. So, fingers crossed I can figure that out, because, goodness, I get jealous when I see some people. Some people look effortlessly... Oh, did I say that correctly? Some people just look really good with minimal effort, so hats off to them. Maybe they just figured out their style, and that's what I need to do. Anyway, stay safe, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!